Hello and welcome to The Division on PC. In this video I'm just going to have a little walk around the first initial area that we're coming in and just to actually have a look at the graphics and what's in here. A lot of times we get into these games, we get in, we run off when we get in the action and we don't actually look at the quality and the detail of some of the things that Ubisoft have put into The Division to make it feel like a realised world. We are working hard to respond to this outbreak. By staying informed and following the instructions of health officials, you can protect yourself, your family, and the community against this public health threat. So that's obviously sort of like um, a missing persons or a, a shrine like in 9-11. Yeah, we tend to run around and initially when I first come in, I thought the graphics don't look like the trailer does, but now I've spent eight, nine hours or so in the beta, I absolutely think this game is incredible. I think Ubisoft have done an amazing job of making, I should have said, realising the actual world. And if you actually slow down and have a look at what's in this area, or even in the main city as well, there's a lot, and I mean a lot, of detail in this game. And it's actually quite beautiful. There is different times of day, it's almost like sunset as we come in here. This is just a little, a little tent, just at the side, and it looks like a lot of the... Uh, the task force members are in here, chilling out, having a burger. And these guys are obviously watching the, the latest updates on what's happening in the city regarding the virus. As you can see up there, there are there is a symptoms board. A little bit of info in case you didn't know. The actual virus, the nuclear virus, whatever, was detonated during the Black Friday sales. And since then, the whole city has been coming down with the virus, and these guys, the task force, are here to basically help with the clamp down, and that's basically their role. All these guys looking completely deflated and miserable. It's the little things when you actually look into it. Uh, attention to detail is just great. As I said, graphics definitely, to me, have grown on me. Um, everywhere you go, lots of things are motion captured, lots of details in signage and things that you just don't notice when you run through for the first time. What's this, what kit's this guy got here? This is an actual uh, player that's in the beginning world section. Look at that completely different kit. I hope there is a lot of loot in the game. Keep the interest up and the missions get harder and more interesting. And I hope there's a really deep, interesting story with it as well. So we're going to walk a little something? bit further down. Even the quality on the ground is quite, is very impressive. You can see where everybody's been running up and down. The water started to get, the snow started to melt. Road cones around. What's in here? Let's have a look in here. So this is like a makeshift control center. You guys looking at the state of the uh, the spread of the virus here by the looks of it. Ain't it? Oh man. Damn. I'm tired. Can't even Jesus. fake being sick. It's, everybody seems it. to have been really? fed up and really depressed. <laughs> Interesting. Right, so let's move a little bit further down. Seen nothing. Lots of detail on these barriers and things and vehicles. I mean, I mean just every single item in here has had to be created, modelled, designed, placed in the 3D world. And 3D, just creating anything, just even creating that, that sign there is, is, a, is not a quick process. Lots of plastic on the floor in here, obviously, to try and keep the virus in and out, keep the place clean. Air conditioning tubes, keeping lots of oxygen in here. Ultraviolet light, which kills off a lot of the virus. Even in here, I mean, look, there's um, yeah, plastic everywhere to keep the virus out. Very nice. Uh, even these foot baths, you had like a foot and mouth. You had to wash your shoes as you went through out into the uh, look, the shower system. There, I wonder if they'll work during the in-game. You have to stop and stand there. So let's move ourselves out a little bit further. And again, the way the world's been realised is just really, really impressing me. Massive, what, 50, 30 foot high barriers with plastic on them. And you can see it's ripped over there with the guard towers overseeing it all. It's like utopian future. These are all the people who I think who are going to be checked for the virus or are they getting treated. 
Obviously not going to be left in that cage. Some sort of screening facility. Martial law in effect. So we've come out a little bit further now. Just on the outskirts. In fact, I haven't been down here. Let's go down here and have a look. Even things like, you know, the plastic sheeting that's ripped and everything. It certainly gives it a, a real interesting feel to the All world. All responders at clinics A through F must use a level B protective suit with an exposed NIOSH approved pressure demand SCBA. Decontaminate all gear and shower before leaving the clinic. So as we come through here, this looks like this area has been abandoned. I mean, the detail on the ground and just everything, everything looks worn and battered. I don't know whether there's, there's a fight gone on here or... Uh, I mean, there's suitcases all over the floor and... I don't know if this is where they first come in before the process to see whether they've actually uh, got the virus. What's this? Shit, I forgot the radio Faye gave me at home. No way, you can't go there. They set fire to the shop right across the street. It's too dangerous. Look, Faye told me to check in every day. And worried Faye isn't too different from a scary, angry Faye. Those are part of the investigations from the single player. Or should I say the main game. So it looks like there's been a, I don't know, has there been a riot here? Something's obviously set fire to it. This looks like the bloody camp at Calais where migrants have started rioting. Again, this is not even part of the main path. This is just a sneaky little side path I've taken. And just look at the attention to detail in here. Stuff's burnt. It's got to be a riot here, surely. I can't work out what else it is. I mean, all this fencing, police guard towers. I really am impressed with the attention to detail and the modelling in this game. Very, very impressed indeed. Uh, feels like the world feels like it could be realistic, and this is how it could be. I mean, e Ebola, a lot of people think the government created Ebola as a chemical weapons test. They released it out into the uh, into the domain of Africa, testing it as they did with AIDS. They can all be using warfare, things like that. Whether you believe that is entirely up to you. I have my opinion. I also believe that cancer was um, genetically engineered in a lab somewhere. It's part of population control, as was AIDS and Ebola. But you make your own mind up on that. I also think that they will never, ever, ever release the cure for cancer. There's too many billions of dollars of uh, research and medical facilities that use uh, government funding. But anyway, I digress. Yeah, lots of bodies here by the looks of it people who've come in being tested and died and they've also started to dig the pits here I don't know whether that's slush or water and there is actually more bodies in there, in fact it is here and over to the right we can see the JCBs I've been digging these holes seems very abandoned here, I don't know what's it's almost like it could do with a little bit more invite nice crows and blurt birds flying around some rats there again I mean What's gone on here? I hope we, I hope there is a really interesting, rich story in the game. It will make the um, the journey a lot more exciting. I just I'm in it for that as as much as I am. The shooting and the loot and the action is good, but I really want a story, which is why Witcher Three for me was uh, the best game I've ever played. Just interesting. The side missions were really brilliant as well, and I hope they're not repetitive in this game. Yeah, I'm hoping there are going to be some memories here. Maybe it was that back there that we didn't really look at to find out what happened here. I don't want to take it slow in the game as well. I'm not. I'm in no rush whatsoever to rank up. I actually want to enjoy the game and the story. And uh, yeah, the environment for me looks like it's going to be the star of this game. Very, very well realised. And um, yeah, so that brings me to the end of this first video. I am going to be going deeper into the heart of the city if you want to join me. 
and a look around, but for now, this has been the starting area. I can't remember what it's called, Camp something or other, when you first come in. And um, yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. So thanks for watching. I will be doing some more videos of the walk around and probably with all the little shy talk. There's a few people have asked me, they think it's funny because he's a, he's a character. In the meantime, we're going to be heading off into Chelsea and we'll have a look at some buildings, shops and environments. And I shall see you in the next video. This has been Angry Beckham by the looks of it. Para players in the division. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.